All right, this recording is going to be for assignment eight. All right, we are um, going to show how classes interact with each other. We're going to use the customer class we created before. And the overall idea is that the customer will make a purchase, and this purchase will consist of items. Each item will be its own object consisting of a number, a name, and a price. The purchase class will contain a list of all the items purchased and functions for totaling the items and for creating the points that will be given back to the customer. Uh, and then we'll output it all as a receipt. Uh, this will ignore subtleties like whether a thing is taxable or not. The one point for each dollar will be added to the customer's rewards. Uh, we will also create a display class to do all the input and outputs. So this is similar to, this is meant to apply to assignment eight. A grade is going to be kind of like the item we create here. The student will have a list of grades and a function for determining their GPA. So I have this, I'm going to do file, new file, and I'm going to uh, open customer. It doesn't have to be open to use it, but I want it up for, for showing. So I'm going to open it and I want to go to, uh, I'm going to go to the documents on this machine and Python files. And I'm going to get customer. One advantage of doing this is that it sets up uh, the directory so I can import and things. So this is the class customer. And this is the, uh, remember our initiation, it has the number, the name, the phone, the email, and the rewards. It has sets and gets for all of those. Uh, it has an add rewards and a use rewards, which adds and removes the rewards from that. And then it also has a string method that returns the number and the name for the customer. All right, so that's the one we made for the last assignment. So I'm going to do a new file and we're going to, this will be um, the class item. Um, it will represent a, an item to purchase. It will have a number, a name, and a price. Now you could make this a lot more complex, uh, like if it's uh, an item that is uh, restricted, if it's an item that has uh, tax or not, but we're just going to keep it simple. So um, class item, right? And then we're going to do our def I N I T right it always takes in self this is also going to take in the number name and price okay and we're going to say self dot number equals number self dot name equals name self dot price equals price and then we're going to just return all of those so we're going to do gets for those def get number um, self and we're just going to return uh, the number Actually, we want to return self.number. Okay, exactly the same here. Def uh, get name self. So the self is always required. It's what ties it to the, the class. And we're going to return self.name. And then the last is we're going to just say def get price and self and we're going to return 
myself dot price. And this is actually all I am going to do uh, for this class. So we've got it takes in those and then it, we, we can get those values out of it. So I'm going to do file and we're going to save it as uh, we'll save it as item and uh, dot pi. I'm just looking to make sure I don't have an item dot pi. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to make a new class. So I'm going to uh, new file and this class will be uh, the purchase to show the purchase of an item. And um, it will have a list of items and methods. A method is just another name for a function for um, totaling. The purchase and uh, totaling the points, and we will also have a string method that outputs basically a receipt. Okay, so we do class um, purchase. Okay, and I'm going to do def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. And the thing that we're going to take in first, we'll take in the customer and we'll take in the um, trying to think of what other things we want to take in. So we take in the customer. I think that might be all that we want to take in. I'll think about this as we go. Um, I'm going to do self dot customer um, equals customer. I'm also going to do um, self dot items. It's going to equal an empty list. And I think that's all I want there. Okay, so I'm going to do a def. Um, and we'll call this one uh, add items. Add item. And it will take self and item. And basically what we will do is we'll do self.items append item. So it's going to add items. Okay, and then we'll do def, let's do total items. Self. And we'll just do um, for each item in self.items. And I think I should total declare this first. Um, total equals zero. 
but then when we do this for each item, we're going to say that um, total plus equal item dot price, right? Because item will be will be in the items, and each item will have a price. And we will return the total. OK, that should work. If we want to do points, so we'll do total points. Okay, so I think we can do something similar to this. Um, I think we can get um, total equals uh, total items. And points equal, I'm just going to cast it to int uh, total. So we're just going to get rid of all the decimal parts and return points. We'll see if that works. All right. And this will be the hard part. I'm going to def string um, self. Okay. I'm going to say receipt equals empty string at this point and then for each item in um, self dot items We're going to say um, receipt. I don't know if plus equal will work with this, but let's 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 just do receipt equals receipt plus um, item dot name. Plus, and we'll, I think, tab plus um, item dot price plus slash in. So we'll see if that works. That may not work. Um, I'm going to do total equals total items. Receipt equals receipt plus um, oh, 
these would have to be in quotes, so. And this, this um, needs to be cast to string. So I'm going to do quote, quote, plus of string uh, total. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. It may or may not work. I thought it may just be a disaster, actually. So we'll see, though. Oh, and then I need to return receipt. And I need to spell things right and consistently. build them all the same now I think so okay so that's our purchase so I am going to create our display or maybe I should just call it main Let's just do a main for now. We could do a display. So I need to save this. So I will save it as um, purchase. I also need to So I'm not sure customer needs to come in here. I'm going to take customer out for now. So I'll save it again. All right, so I'm going to add another class or another file. I think I'm just going to do this as main because we've got three classes now. That's enough to play with for right now. So I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to import um, customer. Um, let's do this again from customer import customer. from item import item from purchase import purchase so we have all of these classes that we're getting <coughs> then I'm going to do a def main and I'm going to set up the customer so let's do um, cust equals customer. And customer takes in, if we go back to customer, it takes in name, a number, name, phone, email, and rewards. So I'm going to do um, one, two, three. Uh, it'll just be me. Um, email okay phone number 
2065551234 and uh, I'm going to say that I have zero points at this point. Okay. And then I am going to we'll just say um, input or let's do number let's just call it number equals um, int input how, how many items do you want to enter? And I guess what this do it as a four. Or we could just do, uh, let's change this a little bit, just to be a little bit more sophisticated. Let's make it while. So, let's make it continue. Well, actually, continue is a keyword. Cont equals y let's do it lowercase and then we'll say while cont equals y um and then we'll say Item Okay. How about I item number equals int um, input enter item number normally in real life these would come in from uh, these would come in from a database but we'll just manually enter them and then I'm going to do item name equals input enter item name. And then finally int item uh, price equals float input enter item price okay a couple of things I'm going to do before I go here we've got the customer here um, the purchase doesn't really have anything to enter, right? So we're going to look at the purchase. There's the item. Um, so somewhere in here is the purchase. So it doesn't require any entries here. So I'm going to declare a purchase up here. I'm going to say perch equals purchase. Okay. So, I am going to then declare here item equals item, and we're going to enter in the item number, item name, 
and item price. Okay, so we're entering the item. We're also going to enter it into purchase. So we're going to say perch and we will um, dot for purchase there is add item and we will add the item. Okay, so we're going to do that for as long as that and then I will do um, So I'll do cont equals input add another item, yes or no. Okay, so we're going to lower it, and that'll be the Y there. When we're out of the loop, once we've done all of this, then we will do uh, we'll do print perch, which should give us the um, the receipt. And we'll also add, so, um, customer add reward, and what we'll add is uh, perch dot total, total rewards. as long as I did that right and then I want to do uh, print customer uh, let's do print your total rewards are um, Just get rewards okay let's call main and see if any of this works I'm sure that there are probably errors throughout this I'm going to do file save um, test purchase Save and I'll try to run and we'll deal with the errors as they come up. Okay, so I got invalid syntax here because I only need one thing. So we'll save, run, run module. Okay, purchase. What did I name it? Uh, here's a purchase pie. Oh, I forgot the R. So I save it. Okay, so it doesn't like, what is it not like here? Oh. So in purchase, for e for item in there's no each okay and I need to do the same down here different language so I need to save this
Got another error. Uh, points in total. I think I may have done that backwards too. Let's see if this gives us another error. Purchase is not defined. of this thing of leaving out ours. All right. Enter an item number. So I think I'm actually going to kill this. Um, and I'm going to uh, run it again so it's up at the top. So I'm going to enter um, one. And the item name will be beer, and the item price will be twelve thirty-five. So, do I want to do another? Yes, and I'm going to do um, two and uh, chips, and the price is uh, two thirty-five, and we'll do one more item. So the item number it will be three, and the item name will be uh, French dip, and the item price will be three seventy five. And then I'm going to say no, and it doesn't like my. So let's go back to the purchase. Again, it's all a matter of this is a name with is lowercase name. All right, so we have to do all of this again. Run, run module, one beer, twelve ninety five. 96 whatever yes um, so we're going to enter two um, chips and we'll just do it as um, 296 and we'll do yes one more item and we'll do dip and whoa because oh, it was supposed to be a number you know, some of the, what we should do here is add some error trapping. I'm going to let you guys do that if you want. Because these are really fragile programs. So I'm going to do one beer 12.97. Yes, two chips. Two ninety seven. Yes, three dip, um, three fifteen. And then I'm going to say no. Okay, and we still have an error. Total items is not defined, and I know why. It's self total items. And this has to be self total items. Okay, the eighteenth time is a charm. All right.
one. Beer thirteen fifty. Yes. Uh, two pretzels. Three forty five. Yes. Uh, salsa. Oh, and I did it again. I think it will work if I ever get it. Beer twelve ninety eight. Yes, two. Um, the last one, and this time I won't screw up. And uh, two ninety six. No, okay, we still got one more error. What is the error? Purchase has no object items. Which means there's another self missing. So let's go to purchase. Customer, I need purchase. Not customer, not item. Uh, did I close purchase? I may have file, open. Actually, let's do cancel, file, new file file open purchase all right so self items should be fine self items start price item item name receipt 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 what was the error Self items equals that. Items append item. For item in self items. Ah. Items. Anything else? Any place else that I did that error? I don't think so. Last shot. Let's try to run something. Let's try to do something other than beer this time. I will say that I'm getting cookies. And they are four ninety-five. And yes, I will continue. I'm also going to get ice cream. Oops, number. Um, $3.98. And I am going to get uh, soda. So I need a number. And we'll do that as $2.91. And no. And it almost did it. Notice that it has the cookies is four ninety five ice cream so it's printing out the thing the tab isn't working all that good uh, that one didn't work pretty good eleven ninety four is the total um, doesn't like total rewards so let's just look at the purchase one more time. purchase so 
self total items um, total points so this is total points These are the wrong way. All right. Okay, I will put all this code once it's all debugged on uh, the blog too. I think we're close. I think we're really close. Let's try it again. So, one cookies, um, three forty five. Yes, two ice cream, um, two. Um, yes, uh, soda, no, oh, I didn't do the number, God, I hate this, run, run module, I should do my error trapping just for you guys, let's go back to beer. Yes, we did it. It only took a billion tries. All right, so we entered all of our things and then the string came out. Okay, so we quit entering them. It, it listed the three things, beers, chips, and dip, gave the price for each in the total, and then our rewards are 21, are 21 points. So I am going to kill this couple of things to think about is you should add some error trapping in it um, check to make sure that the numbers things are numbers when they're supposed to be numbers and etc and just know that it's going to take a lot of debugging when you do the grades for the student okay here comes the end